freaking queen had to sign it off herself. Hello everyone, so I'm not at VidCon. I'm supposed to be at VidCon, but I'm not. Let me tell you why. So back in January, I applied to be a volunteer at VidCon EU and was successful. So why did I want to go as a volunteer? Well, from past experience, I know that if I go to a convention alone, which I was going to VidCon alone, I don't have the ability to pluck up the courage and just start talking to people and make friends and network. So, being part of a team, the volunteering team in this sense, I would be forced to socialise and would have a pretty rock-solid icebreaker. Now, the only problem is, my passport still had my old name on it, making it an invalid form of ID. So, I went online and looked at what I needed to do in order to get my name and gender marker changed on my passport. I then, in mid-March, sent off my application with a copy of my deed poll, a bank statement to prove that I used that name, and a letter of diagnosis written by my old psychotherapist stating that I have gender dysphoria. Now, you're probably asking, why did you wait until mid-March? Well, the reason is because of my old psychotherapist. He took forever to write that letter. Like, I understand he's probably a busy man and it's a sort of hard letter to write. No, it's not a hard letter to write. I could do it in the afternoon, I'm sorry. But I asked him in November, December of 2016, and it took him until mid-March to actually get that letter to me. I sent off, I had the application all filled out, I was just waiting for his letter. It's ridiculous. But back to the main story. So, the website said that it should take about three weeks, no longer, for my passport to get to me. Three weeks later, I get a letter saying that my letter of diagnosis, diagnosing me with gender dysphoria, isn't valid evidence of me being diagnosed with gender dysphoria. What? I had to ring them up and say, can you just cancel the gender marker change for now? I'll deal with it later, just do the name change, which means I'm gonna have to spend another 90 pounds getting the gender marker changed at a later date. But, oh well, I just really needed my freaking passport. So it's getting closer and closer to the actual week of VidCon, and I'm ringing them up daily, almost twice daily sometimes, just because I need my freaking passport. And every single time, they say, oh yeah, I'm looking at the file now, and we don't have any, like, registers of you calling before. Also, the examiner hasn't actually marked your thing as read yet. I asked them, well, can I have a number of the examiner or an email address or something so I can contact them directly? And they say, oh, no, we don't even have their number. They, we only communicate with them via your file. What sort of office structure is that? That's ridiculous. So every single phone call always ended with, I'll just mark a file as urgent, just so that they know you need it for the sick, for like, make some notes on it for you. Is that okay? And I was like, yeah, that's fine. Fine. Seriously, that file got marked as urgent so many times that I wouldn't be surprised if the freaking queen had to sign it off herself. So the 1st of April rolls around and I still don't have my passport. I haven't been able to book flights because you need your passport number for that and I haven't bothered booking accommodation because if I don't have flights and I don't even know if I'm actually going to be there. In short, everything's just looking very bleak. April 6th rolls around and I'm in the cinema about to go watch Free Fire and I get a text message from my mum saying, Hey, your passport's arrived at our house. Great, I now have my passport. But... I now have to go on to Flybe, look at trips for Amsterdam to see when the soonest flight is in Birmingham because I'd have to go up to the West Midlands in order to get my passport and then go to Birmingham Airport, which is more, the most expensive airport in Britain and it freaking annoys me so much. In short, the soonest time I'd actually be able to land in Amsterdam, not even get to the convention, just land in Amsterdam, was 2pm. Meaning I'd miss most of the cray today. Which means it'd make the entire trip pointless because I'd be able to do no networking. I'd just be stood about shuffling between the fangirls. <sighs> the credit is the best day. So instead, I just decided to stay here and save the money that I would have spent on flights and hotels and everything else. So that's why I'm not at VidCon EU. If you are, I hope you enjoy it there. And I'll enjoy this cardboard box, because it's all I have right now. And fuck life.